Hey Team Yellow, we are here today to talk to you all about the Selenko Blackout. Felt it was only fitting to show up today with our all black tennis point gear. I've got the black hat, obviously the all black racket. Um, didn't put the black Selenko Confidential in. I felt like the, the Kelly Green and the Selenko Hyper G just really makes this racket pop. Also have the Selenko stencil in there. So thank you to our friends and partners over at Selenko for sending over some fresh sticks, string and the stencil. Uh, we had a few different models out there today on court. Claire here is going to tell you a little bit about the specs on those rackets as well as how to play test one. Yeah, so we've got three different models. We've got two that are going to be 300 grams, coming out to be about 10.5, 10.6 ounces unstrung, or 11.2 ounces with the string actually in the racket. And then we've got a lighter version, which is 285 grams. So that's going to be about 10 ounces unstrung, 10.6 with the string in there. Um, they're all going to be 100 square inch size head and 16 by 19 stringing pattern. So slightly different from the whiteout. Um, this is going to be more of a power racket, so kind of similar to like an Ultra, Pure Drive, an E Zone. Um, so it's going to have a bigger sweet spot, a looser stringing pattern, so you can kind of curve the ball, get some spin on there, get some power. Um, but I really liked it overall and used more of a hybrid frame, but this one felt really nice. I don't know if it was just the Hyper G and the combination of the frame, but I felt like I could actually place the ball while getting a good amount of power on it. So overall, I thought it was a really nice frame. What'd you think? So at first I didn't really like it. I am not the biggest fan of frames that are kind of shaped similar to the Wilson Ultra or Pure Drive, which is really kind of how this racket plays. Uh, I really like a thinner beam that just glides through the air a lot more naturally, more like a Head Prestige or um, the Yonex V Core Pro, Wilson Blade Pro Staff. Um, but this thing absolutely packs a mean punch. There's a few different racket technologies in here that allows it to um, really minimize the vibrations, gives you a lot of stability and also a lot of power. Similar to the Selenko Whiteout review that we also recently just did, there is a really highly durable and really stiff carbon fiber material located at the three o'clock and nine o'clock position, which again, really just adds some extra enhanced feel and comfort as well as stability. Really what gives this um, just the overall brute force power that this racket has that I just mentioned uh, is here located at the five o'clock and seven o'clock position. Um, it's just a little bit more meatier, a little bit more of a thicker uh, beam on the frame, uh, which is actually called the Power Flex Zone technology. Again, just allows you to maximize power and um, just provide a little bit more pop on some of your shots. And then lastly, similar to the Selenko Whiteout as well, is the uh, weight control module here at the end of the handle on the butt cap system. Never really saw or heard of a frame or racket manufacturer that adds a um, plate that you're able to actually just pop out. You can either insert a five gram or a 10 gram um, butt cap plate that really just adds a little bit more weight into the handle. Just another alternative to putting lead tape either in the handle or even somewhere in the tip of the hoop, which is a little bit more common. But overall, the just natural power shots, forehand, first serve, Claire was actually killing me on her overheads. Um, really just packs an all overall mean punch. Let us know what you guys think. You can go to Tennis Staff Point today and um, go ahead and try out a demo. Let us know what you think. And uh, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Advantage you.